again, my little yarnivores and spiderettes. Fiber spider back again with the continuation of the pineapple doily tutorial. And we are on round nine. So I'm gonna hop right in and start in with our first cluster. We're already in the chain space. So chain up three, one, two, three, double in the same space, chain three, one, two, three, two doubles in that same space, one, and two. Now, in the previous round, we had our two clusters, but they weren't separated. This time, yes, we're going to sep separate the two clusters with a chain three space. So, one, two, three, and then that next cluster, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. All right, now we are gonna start the fun part with the pineapples. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then into that first double, single crochet, chain three, skip a double, and then single into the next. So skipping that one, going to the next with a single. So we got a little chain three space there. Chain three again, one, two, three, skip a stitch, single into the next, chain three, skip a stitch, single into the next, chain three, skip a stitch, single into the last double there. So you should have a total of four chain three spaces. And that's the beginning of our pineapples. And then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and we're gonna do our two clusters separated by a chain three space. And that's pretty much all there is to it for this round. Gonna do another one or two of these segments with you. So two doubles, chain three, two doubles. So that's our first cluster, then chain three. Sorry, I got my yarn, my yarn, it's all tangled. Pardon me. Okay, so I got my cluster, chain three. One, two, three. Okay, next chain three space, second cluster. So that's two doubles. Chain three. Skip a stitch, single into the next. Chain three. And two doubles in that same space. There we go. And then chain five so that we can work on our pineapple. One, two, three, four, five. Single into the first double, chain three, skip a stitch, single into the next, chain three, skip a stitch, single into the next, chain three, skip a stitch, single into the next. A lot of repetition, but I like to be thorough. Chain three, skip a stitch, single into the last. So you have four chain three loops. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then our two clusters, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain three to separate the two clusters. And then second cluster, two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. 
Okay, let's do one more together. Chain five. Okay, scoot ourselves over to that first double, going in with a single crochet stitch. Chain three. Skip a stitch, single into the next. Chain three. Skip a stitch, single in the next. Chain three. Skip a stitch, single into the next. Chain three. And skip a stitch, single into the last. Chain five. And then our two clusters separated by chain three space. So that's two doubles, chain three, two doubles in that first space, and then chain three, and then our second cluster. So two doubles, chain three, and two more doubles. Alrighty. So just keep doing this all the way around. And then when you have reached the beginning over here, it would be two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, chain five, single chain three, single chain three, single chain three, single chain three, single chain five, and then slip stitch into the top of your first double, slip stitch into the next double, and then slip stitch into that chain three space. So just keep going around and I will see you for round 10. Round 10. All right, chain up three, one, two, three, double in the same space, chain three, and two doubles in the same space, just a regular cluster. All right, now what we're gonna be doing here is very similar to what we were doing down here. And what I mean by that is chain five, one, two, three, four, five, then into the chain three space, single crochet, chain five again, one, two, three, four, five, and then cluster in the cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, two doubles. There we go. Okay, now we get to continue working on our pineapple and we're gonna reduce our chain three loops from four down to three. So start off by chaining five, one, two, three, four, five, single crochet into that first chain three space, chain three, one, two, three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, and single in that last chain three space. So now we've got three chain three loops, chain five, one, two, three, oh, I, I missed one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna be doing our cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Okie dokie. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single crochet into the chain three space. Chain five again. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. and two doubles. OK, 
Okay, let's do another one together. Okay, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain three space. Chain three. Single in the chain three space. Chain three. Single in the chain three space. Chain three. And single in the chain three space. So we've got our three chain three loops. Okay. And then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the first cluster, so that's two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain three space in between the clusters. Chain five again, one, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster, two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. And there you go. Just keep going on in the same fashion for the rest of the round. I have faith in you. And so around here, it would be your cluster, chain five, single, chain five, cluster, chain five, single, chain three, single, chain three, single, chain three, single, chain five, and then slip stitch to the top of this last double, slip stitch it to the next, and then slip stitch into that chain three space. And I will be back up with you for round 11. Round 11. All right, so we're gonna start off with our typical cluster, chain up of three, double into the same space, chain three, two doubles in the same space. Okay, so now I'm gonna do something again, a little bit different. Right now, chain three, and then into this space, double, then chain, chain five, and then double into this space. So we did our cluster, chain three, double into the chain five space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double into the next space, there we go. Then chain three again, all about symmetry. And then cluster into the cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. There we go. And then we're gonna work on our pineapple as per usual. So that's a chaining of five, one, two, three, four, five. Single in the chain three space. Chain three. Single in the next space. Chain three. And single in the next space. So we're down to two chain three spaces. Okay, chain five. One, two, three four, five, cluster in the cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, two doubles. There we are. And then chain three, double in the chain five space, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, double into the next chain five space, chain three, and cluster in the cluster. So two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. 
Okay, let's do that again. So, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single in the chain three space, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, single in the next space, and we're out of spaces. Yep, we got two chain three spaces. That's what we needed. Okay. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, cluster in the cluster, two doubles, chain three, two doubles, here we go, chain three, double in the chain five space, Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Double in the next chain five space. Chain three. And cluster in the cluster. So that's two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. How many did we do? One, two, Let, let's keep going just for a, a brief bit. And then you can do the rest of the row on your own. I have every bit of confidence in you. And you know, if you ever get lost, there are as always timestamps in the description box down below. So we just did our second cluster. So chain five, one, two, three, four, four, five, single in the chain three space, chain three, single in the next space, chain three, and single in the next space. There we go. Chain five, one, two, three, four, oh, three, four, five, thank you. Cluster in the cluster, two doubles, Chain three, two doubles. Chain three, double in the chain five space. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Double in the next chain five space. Chain three and cluster in the cluster. And so you're just gonna keep going on in this same fashion for the rest of the round. And as per usual, do your slip stitches. So that would be slip stitch into the top of that first, slip stitch into the next, slip stitch into that chain space, and I will meet back up with you for round 12. Round 12. All right, so I'm gonna start off by doing a cluster within the cluster as per usual. Start off by chaining up a three, one, two, three, double in the same space, chain three, two doubles in the same space, there we go. All right, now, we need to start sort of forming a new pineapple. It's not going to be a pineapple in the traditional sense, but it is the base of one right in here. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, then double into the double. There we go, get it nice and secure and stable there. Then into this chain five space, 12 double crochets. And then with one at either end anchored, like we did there, it's gonna be a total of 14. So I've got three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, all into that chain five space, and then double into the double anchoring everything into place. So I should have a total of 14 doubles. So let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and 14, perfect. Okay, from here, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster as per usual. So two doubles. chain three, and two doubles. All right, and then we get to work on our existing pineapple, which is almost at the end of its rope. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, single in the chain three space, chain three, one, two, three, single into the next chain three space. So now I've only got one little chain three space. He's all alone. All right, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. And two doubles. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Double in the double. And then into that chain five space, 12 doubles. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and then double into the double. Make it nice and anchored and secure. And yes, I am going to double count again. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. Some people err on the side of caution. I err on the side of paranoia. I double count. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. Chain five. Single in the chain three space. Chain three. Single in the chain three space. That's one little chain three space left all alone. Okay, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Okay, so I got my two doubles, chain three, two doubles. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Double in the double. 12 doubles in the chain five space. That's two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Double in the double to anchor it in place. Pull out a little bit more yarn. Okay, and a double check. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Okay. And chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. And two doubles. And there you go. Just keep going on in this fashion all the way around. And then, of course, when you reach the beginning, which is where? Ah, it's over here. <laughs> You know, after doing your chain five, slip stitch into the top of the double, slip stitch into the next double, and slip stitch into the chain space. And I will meet back up with you for round 13. Round 13. Okay, so from here, again, cluster in the cluster as per usual. So chain up three, double in the same space, chain three, and two doubles in that same space. There we go. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we have to sort of spread these doubles out a little bit. We're gonna be working into each double. We're just gonna add chain spaces. So into the first two double crochets, double, double. So double and double, then chain two, and then double into the next two, double and double. So we're not changing the number of doubles, just, you know, spacing them out a little bit. So chain two, and then double in the next two. chain two, double in the next two, and so forth. Chain two, double in the next two, chain two, double in the next two, chain two, and <clears throat> double in the last two. There you go. Okay, and then got to get back to our next cluster. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then cluster in the cluster. So that's two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. Okay, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and well, we only have that one loop left of our original pineapple, so single crochet into that one chain three loop, and then we have to get back to our next cluster. So, sorry, my, my doy was getting big here. So then chain five again. So it's chain five, single, then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then cluster in the cluster. So two doubles. Chain three and two doubles. There you go. 
and then scooch our work once again. Okay, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope. There we go. And then we have to separate out our doubles once again. So double in each of the first two stitches. Chain two. And my yarn keeps wanting to tangle on me. I don't know why. Wants to be a fuss budget. There we go. Pardon me. Okay, so I got my two doubles right there and my chaining of two. Then double into the next two stitches. Chain two. Double in the next two. Chain two. Double into the next two. Chain two. Double in the next two. Chain two. Double into the next two. Chain two and double into the last two. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster, two doubles. Chain three, two doubles. There we are. And let's attack this pineapple right here. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Single into that chain three space. Get rid of your tangled yarn. It wants to do this. I don't know why. There we go. Okay, so I got my chain five single, then chain five again to get back to the next cluster. And you know what to do. Two doubles. Chain three. And two doubles. And that is how you do the rest of the round. Just keep going in this fashion all the way until you reach the very beginning, where after doing your chain five, single chain five, slip stitch into the top of the double, slip stitch in the next, and then slip stitch into the chain space. There you go. And I will meet back up with you for round 14. Okay, round 14. All right, I'm gonna do a cluster in the cluster. So start by chaining up three, double in the same space, chain three and two more doubles. Just, you know, as per usual. Okie dokie. Now, going on to our sort of, you know, burgeoning pineapple ish. You know, it's not quite going to be a pineapple, but you'll see what I mean. So chain five, one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do a double crochet two together with these two stitches right here. So insert and pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, then pull through all three brings it to a nice point. Then chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and do it again. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, then pull through all three. And we're gonna do this across. One, two, three, four, five, 
pull up a loop, pull through two. Thank you. Yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three. Chain five. Next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three loops, chain five. Next stitch, get in there, pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three, one, two, three, four, five. Two more to go. Pull up a loop, pull through two, yarn over, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through all three. One, two, three, four, five. Pull up a loop, pull through two. Pull up a loop. Pull through two, pull through all three. Okay, chain five and another cluster. One, two, two, three, four, five. Cluster. So two doubles. Chain three. Two doubles. There we are. Okay, now we need to sort of bridge the gap between cluster and cluster going over our pineapple. So chain two and then scooting into our next cluster with a cluster. So two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. Here we go. We have unity. We're bringing them together. Okay. And then going back to the double crochets together. So got to chain five to get there. One, two, three, four, five. Pull out a little bit more yarn and try not to get it tangled. All right. So I got my chaining of five. And let's double crochet these next two together. We just do this across this fanning of stitches, chain five. Do the next two. Chain five. the next two together. Chain five. Okay, get the next two together. There we go. Chain five. And the next two together. Chain five. Next two together. Chain five. And the last two together. There we go. Chain five. Okay. Cluster in the cluster. Two doubles. Chain three. Two doubles. chain two, and then going into the cluster on the opposite side with two doubles, chain three, two doubles. 
And that is how you're going to continue for the rest of round 14. And guess what? We only have one more road, well, round. I was about to say row. We have one more round to go after this. And let's scoot back over to here. All right, so to finish up round 14, you would do your cluster, your chain two, and then you would slip stitch into the first double, second double, and the chain space, and I will meet back up with you. I will see you in a bit. For those of you that are still with me, round 15, the last round. Congratulations, you've made it this far. Just a little bit more to go. All right, as per usual, gonna start off the proceedings by a chaining of three, a double, a chaining of three, and two more doubles. We've got ourselves a cluster. Okay. Then, proceeding right along, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then, skipping this chain five space, going into this little chain five space over here, six double crochet stitches. And we are going to continue by doing six double crochets in each of these chain five arches until we reach the other side. So I already have four, five, and six. Then going directly into the next chain five arch with six doubles. It's really that easy. And you could get decorative with it and add picos, but quite frankly, I am not a huge personal fan of the picos. I mean, yes, they're they're nice, they're decorative, but to me, they are fiddly and they really don't add a tremendous amount to the piece. That's just my personal opinion. There you go. So we've got another six. Now for argument's sake, say if you wanted to, I, I will not begrudge you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three doubles. And then if you wanted to add a pico, chain three, and then going into the stitch here, right underneath there, with a slip stitch, and then do another three more doubles. So just, just to show you that it is in fact possible as soon as I untangle my yarn once again. There we go. So just to show you, yes, it is possible. You can add a little pico if you want to, or you could add one in between the clusters of six. You know, just a little extra embellishment. Yes, you can. Personally, it's just not my, it's just not my thing. You know, nine times out of 10. So I'm just going to keep on keeping on with my doubles. So I've got my six, do another six. That's two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that is six. Okay. Got two more groupings to do, no problem there. A lot of repetition with this last round. All right, that's four, five, and six. One, whoop, hello. Two, three, four, five, and last but not least, six. Okay, scooching right along to our cluster, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Cluster in the cluster, two doubles. 
chain three, and two doubles. There we go. And then bridging the gap even further, going directly from this cluster to the next cluster, no chains in between. So going right into that next cluster with two doubles, chain three, and two doubles. And then you would chain five and proceed with your chain five arches by doing your six doubles, ad infinitum, There we go. So we've got our six, and then you do, of course, you would do another six, 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 six. You know, I didn't say six, six, six. Well, I did just now, but you know what I mean. And then you would chain five, and then do your cluster, and then do your next cluster, so on and so forth for the rest of the round. And then when you have reached the end slash beginning, you would do your cluster in this cluster, and then you would slip stitch to join, slip stitch into here. And I mean, you don't have to go into the, the chain space because that's it. That's the last round. Congratulations, you've done it. All right. Oh. Alrighty, my dears. So that concludes today's tutorial on how to do the pineapple lace Doily. I really hope that you liked it, and thank you so very much for joining me today. Whether you do your project in a crochet thread or in a yarn, it's bound to turn some heads. It's gorgeous, it's lovely, it's lacy, and ultimately speaking, I think it's pretty darn easy. So, as always, I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And as always, stay tuned for more because whether it's crocheting, knitting, origami, audiobook narrations, cooking, video games on my other channel, I like to do a lot of stuff and I like to share it with you guys. Yeah. So you know what to do until next time, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay stitching, and please stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.